click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a new property. It is a time scaling property. Time scaling property we used in first chapter representation of signals where we, use, we compress or expand the signal depends on the value of alpha. Now here why we compress that signal, why we expand that signal, we can prove it by using a Laplace transform. Now over there, if alpha value is greater than 1, then the graph gets compressed. And if alpha value is less than 1, then graph will expand. This is what we are going to, we can prove it using any type of a transformation. So right now we are studying a Laplace transform. So let's prove it. So let's prove the time scaling property of Laplace transform. So first of all, its statement. The statement of time scaling property of Laplace transform is, just look at here, Laplace transform of x a of t, this a is nothing but my alpha. This is the time scaling factor. Now, if we apply time scaling property or if we want to derive the time scaling property using a Laplace transform, then the result of this is 1 by a x of this s is replaced by s by a. So what you can see, if alpha is multiplied, then look at it. The resultant is alpha is divided. Here the alpha is my a. So if a is multiplied, then we are going to divide it by a. It is, it is simple. Why have placed a mod of a? Because maybe you have a value positive or negative. If we have positive, then we will get 1 by a. If we have negative, then of course we will get minus 1 by a. So for a time being, I have placed here mod of a. So let's see how that time scaling property can be approved. Now, we know that definition of Laplace transform. Why I am repeating the definition of Laplace transform? Reason is, it always starts with a definition. The definition is, x of s which is the function is transformed into s domain a time signal is transformed into s domain or a frequency domain or a, you can say laplace domain so whenever a function is represented in a laplace domain then it is represented by x of s now x of s is nothing but a laplace transform any time signal and if the definition is integration of the function which is going to be integrated from minus infinity to infinity and multiplied by e to the power st dt before the integration. Now, this dt is used to show this whole function is going to be integrated with respect to time t. So, first of all, solve this part and then integrate this. Now, here, what I am going to do? I am going to replace this x of t by x of at. So, here also I am going to write x of at x of a t. So now the definition of Laplace transform is change integration minus infinity infinity x of a t e to the power minus s t dt. We can represent this definition directly into Laplace domain if our input is dependent on variable a single variable. Right now this function also having some factor a. Now we need to, that's why we need to resubstitute this value so that the whole x is depends on only single variable. Right now this x is carry, is depends on variable also as well as some integer also. So let's substitute a t by lambda. So this whole part is replaced by lambda. So t, I want to replace this t also. So this a will be shifted on left hand, right hand side. This will be lambda by a. Now for dt, I am going to perform a differentiation. As this a is along with the lambda, so this will not be a 0. I will take 1 by a common. So this differentiation of this lambda will be d lambda. And the limits, because this whole integration is represented or depends on t. Right now this t is replaced by lambda. So this whole integration is now depends on lambda. So that's why we need to calculate the limits value for lambda also. So if I substitute t is equal to in minus infinity over here. If I substitute minus infinity, automatically lambda is also changes to minus infinity. If I substitute infinity over here, 
at t equals to infinity this whole product becomes infinity so which means lambda also carries the same value now i'm going to place all this equation in my equation number one so let's see how the equation changes its values after substituting values the limit value will not be changed next one is x of at is replaced by lambda whereas that t is replaced by lambda by a and dt is lambda replaced by 1 by a into d lambda where 1 by a this term is a constant because whole integration depends on lambda that's why 1 by a is constant i will take this one by a common now what we will have we have minus infinity to infinity x of lambda e to the power minus s by a lambda why i have taken a below to that of s reason is i am going to replace this whole s by a by s so what you can say if we have integration minus infinity to infinity x of lambda e to the power minus s lambda d lambda this is nothing but the definition of laplace transform and if it is a definition of laplace transform then i can say that i can directly write this equation as x of s but look at here i have replaced this s by a by s so again i have to resubstitute this s value so this s is replaced by s by a so that's why i have written instead of writing s x of s i have written x into bracket we have s by a because this s is substituted in the place of s by a so we need to resubstitute this value so this s is replaced by s by a and already we have 1 by a common so this is the definition and this is the proof of time scaling property of laplace transform now we'll study the next few properties also so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for next further videos thank you so much